Hi everyone and welcome to City Kids Online. Yeah, and you know what, if you're a visitor and this is your first time, we just wanna say a special thank you. Hey boys and girls, I'm really happy to announce Pastor Joel did not catapult our neighbor's cat last week. Well, I sure wanted to. I mean, but you know, cats are actually kind of cute. They sure are. They just might act a little differently. You know, you're right about that. You know, sometimes we just have to learn about differences instead of avoiding them. Wow, that sounds so mature. Are, are you trying to grow up a little bit? Grow, did you say throw up? Throw up a little bit? Of course. Just like I thought, you always have to be silly. Who's being silly? Am I being silly? Oh my word, Joel. Kids, I am so sorry, again. Maybe we need to refocus a little bit. Okay, okay, refocus. Yeah. Let's see, cats and dogs, yeah. Jews and Samaritans. Wow, glad you remembered that we talked about the Samaritan woman at the well last week. Yeah. You know, I remember that. So, you know, the Jews, they usually avoided the Samaritans, but Jesus, he didn't do that. No, he didn't. Jesus loves everyone. And you know, I'm kind of, kind of glad that you were pretending to be sick a minute ago. You were? Do you want me to do it again? No, no, stop. Don't do it again. That's, it's really okay. However, our Bible story today shows Jesus healing 10 men but only one was thankful. And guess who he was? Well, who was he? He was a Samaritan. Hmm, that's very interesting. You know, I'm sure that we'll probably hear more about that a little bit later, yep. but do we have a new big picture question? We do, brand new big picture question. Why did God create people? Well, you know, he did. Yeah. It's a good question. Yeah. So why did he? Well, God created people to worship Him, to love Him, and to show His glory. Hmm, well, that's really good. You know, I wanna do all of those things. I wanna worship Him and love Him and show His glory. All right, kids, time to hear about today's Bible story. See what Jesus did. Check this out. Jesus was on His way to Jerusalem when He entered a village. Ten men cried out to him, Jesus, Master, have mercy on us. The men did not come close to Jesus because they had a skin disease called leprosy. Jesus saw them and said, Go and show yourselves to the priest. Jesus wanted the men to follow the law God had given to Moses. The law said, A person who had a skin disease had to go to a priest to be examined when the disease was gone. The priest and the person had to follow certain rules so the person could live a normal life among people again. As they went, the ten men were miraculously healed. One of the men, seeing that he was healed, went back to Jesus. He praised God and fell face down at Jesus' feet, thanking him over and over. This man was a Samaritan. Jesus asked the man, weren't ten men cleansed? Where are the others? Only this man, a foreigner, had returned to give thanks and praise to God. Jesus told him, get up and go on your way. Your faith has saved you. Jesus healed the 10 men who cried out to him. The one who had faith was saved. When we trust in Jesus by faith, he heals us from something greater than a disease. He saves us from our sins. We can give him thanks and worship him for making us new. I'm so glad that we have these stories from the Bible. Yeah, absolutely. They show us what Jesus was like and we can see the things that he did. Yes, and we can see that Jesus wants to heal us from sickness. Yeah, it's really obvious. You know, when we look at what's in the Bible, in fact, we have a brand new Bible verse this week, and it's all about that. It says, the people brought Jesus, all who had various kinds of sickness, and laying hands on each one, he healed them. Luke 440. Mm, that's a good one. So do we have any motions for that? We sure do. Okay, kids, stand up on your feet and follow along. Here we go. 
The people brought Jesus all who had various kinds of sickness and laying his hands on each one, he healed them. Luke 440. Man, I'm so glad that Jesus heals people. He does. He did it when he was on earth, and you know, he still heals people today through the Holy Spirit. Well, what's to stop us from praying right now? Absolutely nothing. Okay then, so if you're dealing with sickness, yeah. or you know somebody who is, we want to pray for you. So why don't you just pray with us and believe right now? Heavenly Father, we are so glad that Jesus healed people and that we can see examples of that in the Bible. So right now, we just pray for every person that is dealing with sickness that's watching this video. We would pray, God, that you heal them right now in Jesus' name. And we also pray for Pastor Eddie. We're still we believing you, God, to just do a miracle in him and make him completely well. Right. We thank you for healing us, and it's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Hey, last week we got to hear from Mr. Byron and Miss Michelle. Man, I miss them so much. It was so good to see them. So here is another special message from some City Kids leaders. Check this out. Hey guys, we just want to take a minute and say hi. We miss you guys so much. A lot's happened in the last couple of months. We've been in our house, we've finished school. Yay for finishing school. Yay. Some of you've moved on to new grades, which is really exciting. We've really missed you guys. And we've missed a lot of other things too, right? Yeah, like donuts. Donuts, yeah. I've missed church coffee. And church nuts. Yeah, and church people. We've missed you guys, and we yes. can't wait to see you again Love soon. You guys. We miss Love you. you. Bye. Hey, thanks again for watching. And you know what, don't forget to check out the activities that we have on our webpage at citypointchurch.com slash citykids. Hey, we would love to hear from you. You can send us a message at castillo at citypointchurch.com. Oh, can't wait to see you guys soon. We love you. Next time, we'll see you later. Bye.